military matters, new details are emerging about the extensive medical care required to save a three core Navy explosives tech who was injured in an IED blast last November. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline spoke with some of the combat medical professionals who delivered life saving procedures to help Chief Petty Officer Kenton Stacy get home to his family. She joins us now. Hey, Jillian. Doug and Leslie, Chief Petty Officer Kenton Stacy was injured in November while clearing a hospital filled with IEDs near Raqqa, Syria, suffering severe life threatening injuries to his neck, spine, eyes, leg, and lungs. He's recovering at Tier Memorial Herman at the Spinal Cord Rehab Program in Houston, but it will be a long road for Stacy and his family. Army Combat Surgeon Colonel Jennifer Gurney shared with me the intense hours when he arrived in Baghdad. He had lost six inches of his trachea, his lungs were very bruised, and was having a difficult time circulating oxygen throughout his body to vital organs like the heart. When she realized this, she called the burn flight team out of San Antonio to come quick, and they did. During that time from his injury to his arrival stateside, he received more than 40 pints of blood. It's our goal to, to save every life that comes to our doorstep alive. Is that, you know, and the fact that we were actually able to do that with Stacy is, is just phenomenal. Now, Sergeant First Class Lang from the Roll 3 Hospital, who you just heard from, tells me they started giving Stacy blood components like red blood cells and platelets, but says the call was quickly made. He needed whole blood as a trauma patient. And coming up at 6, you'll hear more from the Army Surgeon Gurney, who stayed by Kenton's side in Baghdad for more than two days after he went through surgery after surgery. Doug and Leslie, back to you. Certainly a fighter. All right. Thanks, Jillian.